Hey, what's up people? Welcome back to my channel. Now today I've got a small little solo base design for you lot. It's perfect for small little wipes or large wipes if you want to expand. Uh, there's room for lots of expansion to this space. You can make shooting floors. And if you want to see me expand this space, make sure you leave a comment. This space has uh, shops, it has bunkers, loads of storage, and I think you could ever need. So, uh, yeah, let's get into it. Before we do get into it, I want to say I'm giving away this skin. So all you got to do is like, comment, and subscribe uh, to be in for a chance to win this. So the winner from last video's skin, I'm going to choose it from all comments. Let's pick a winner. And it is Groover with a comment saying nice base. Thank you for the comment. Make sure you hit me up on Discord and I'll give you your skin. Right, enough waffling. Let's get into the build. So for the starter, you're gonna need one low triangle foundation. Cover that in with three high squares. We're gonna then cover the out half with four triangle foundations and then we can wall the rest of it in. Now you wanna make sure your doorway here is wood and the roof above it. Fill the rest in with stone. And place our door. In this corner here, we can place our TC. And we can place a wall behind us, like so. From here we can place some temporary boxes. And three furnaces in the low foundation. Place our tier one in the other corner. And that is the starter. Now moving on to the next part of the base. Now from here we can add a little bit more storage. Cover that in with the window. And now we can go around to the back side of the base and add our first piece of honeycomb. Now you need to add this before you add your second layer, just because it helps. From here we can go ahead and remove the door and the above triangle. Now we can place a furnace for a jump up and make a doorway. Now here I'm using garage doors. Personally I would work out the starter base until I have at least a tier 2 and a garage door. Now here I'm just showing you what you can do to jump up for now. You can use a roof triangle, you can use a half wall, whatever you prefer. Moving on to the second floor. You can go ahead and fill in the entire top side, apart from this here with a doorway, and this one here. Cover the roofing. Apart from this middle one, which you want to be wood. Go ahead and place two doors. And from here, we can go ahead and kit out our second floor. Again, I'm just showing you how to do a jump up. Now, I prefer to use roofs. You can use half walls, you can use anything you like. Now 
Now we're going to kit out at the bottom before we kit out the second floor. So we place a window here and just to save you a lot of time, the power of editing. This is how it should look. You can do it however you like. This is how I like to do it. It's very easy to copy. Now this is the most awkward bit. We're going to place a triangle in here like so. And uh, I've sped this bit up a lot just because this bag placement is the most tricky thing in the world. Once you place this bag and get it correct, do not pick it back up or else you will not be able to replace it. So I've had to go on the right side and place the triangle above that. We can go ahead and delete this outside and fill in the rest of our storage. Now I advise you only place one box here, as you cannot get out, just like so. Coming back upstairs, we can go ahead and get out the second floor. We can go ahead and place all of our garage doors before placing any boxes. Right here is where we're going to place our shop. And with the power of editing, I'm going to show you what it should look like in here. Now again, you can do this however you like. This is how I like to do it. Got loads of storage loads of boxes, repair bench, more storage, a bed and a locker. We can then go ahead and remove our furnace and replace that with a ladder. Now coming outside we can work on the honeycomb. So you want to make sure you honeycomb your TC wool the wall under your shop and the wall under your door and just like so you want to make sure you honeycomb everything you can And from here, we can stand on the door and make our jump up. Now, if you want the shop to be accessible by players, you can go out and do the same like so. Now from here, we're going to make our bunker. So. Just like here, if you forgot to do it like I did, it's quite easy to fix. And just place a triangle 
in there like so so you have a half wall there and that creates our bunker so this is how you do the bunker easy as that armored you can't get through it unless you go straight through it when you wake up in your bag you just demolish the twig and you're good to go now moving on to our roof access place a triangle floor frame and a triangle ladder hatch couple that in with some walls and a garage door you can go ahead and place a shotgun trap in here just to be extra safe now from here we can go through and upgrade to whatever is necessary and uh, that is the base people so I hope you lot have enjoyed uh, this is definitely one of my favorite bases especially to build it's the one I use use most on a wipe so if you've enjoyed the video make sure you hit that like button and hopefully I'll see you in the next one peace